Hey, it's Zach here. So today I have a really, really big unboxing from the cubicle. I got this from the Black Friday sale and there's a lot of stuff in it. So let's get into it. So inside of this package we have a 1x1 one one and a 1x1 one one Pyraminx, they just came free with the order. We have a mini keychain cube that is 3.5 centimeters. We have the Modi Ready Cube, the Sheng Shao 2x2, um, or the Sheng Shao Kilominx. The 2x2 Mega Mix, the Chi 2x2x3, the Next Men Bell Pyramid, a Shang Xiao Master Pyramid, Chaxis 50k, some cube stands, um, a business card. Rubicol Silk and DNM 37 and this Cubicle Lab stuff, which I'm excited to get into later. So yeah, let's get into this stuff. So first off, I'll go from least excited to most excited. So let's start with the one by ones. Which, so oh, these actually look really really nice. So these are just one by ones. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to solve them, but they probably won't be too difficult. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, now we have this keychain cube. Um, I don't expect this to turn incredibly. Uh, I just want this for my backpack because the one I have now is really, really bad. So, whoa. It's very, very sandy and dry, but it actually turns really nicely. It's so small, it's weird to have in my hand. So that's really cool to have. I'm just going to be putting on with my backpack, so yeah, really nice. So I guess next we'll get into the Shang Shao Master Pyramids. Now I have heard that this puzzle has a lot of spring noise, so I will probably be lubricating the um, hardware of this puzzle, but we'll see. So I did try one of these at a competition. I didn't scramble it or solve it, but it's really, really smooth. Wow. So the tips feel very nice. It's pretty slow, but I'm not going to be speed solving this. Uh, the shades look super, super nice. So I'm just going to give this a scramble. Um, I don't know how to solve this, but I will try to figure it out myself. So yeah. Hmm. It's pretty slow. Um, I do, I'll probably tension it and maybe lube it. I don't know. Def There's definitely not as much swing noise as I've heard. So here's a scramble. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to figure out how to solve that. Now let's go with this 2x2x3. And I actually do want to try and speed solve this. Uh, just like the other one, I don't know how to solve this yet. But I don't think it's going to be that hard. Get my knife to open this up. I don't want to cut the puzzle. There we go. Okay, so I've heard that this thing can corner cut, um, and I've seen people speed solve it, and ooh, it's super, super smooth. It's pretty sandy. Wow, that feels really, really nice. So yeah, let's just scramble this one. And see if I can figure out how to solve this. So I'll probably be making videos, oh, well, spring noise there, on each of these puzzles separately of me figuring out how to solve them. So stay tuned for that. So next, let's get into the X Men Bell Pyramids. I actually got a couple of Pyramids puzzles, as you can see. It does come with extra magnets, and they do feel pretty strong. So that's really, really nice um, that they do that. So that's good customer service. 
Now, I do have the Moyu Magnetic Pyramid, so I don't actually know where it is right now, um, but I do have that, and I'm going to compare it to this one, so it's definitely heavier. Wow. Really, really smooth. It feels extremely loose, but super stable. The magnets are really strong, and I really like that. The tips are incredible on this. That's my biggest problem with the Moyu Magnetic is that the tips are pretty terrible on it. So let's just... Okay, so what just happened is that my um, my phone ran out of memory, so... Um, I don't know how much I actually got on there, but what I was saying is that there seems to be a magnet rattling around. Uh, I'll have to find out where that is. Hopefully it's not too big of a problem. And let's put it back in there. So let's get on to this next puzzle. I do really like that, though. And we're going to check out this... Um, 2x2 two two, uh, Mega Minx from Shangshao or the Kill Minx. So, that, there's a puzzle. Okay. So, let's just do first turns. It's very flexible, it's easy to turn more than one layer at once. But, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing really holding the layers into place. Hmm. Okay, first impression is not incredible. Um, I know people are speed solving this. I probably will not. Um, but I do definitely want to give this a scramble. So here we go. Here's just a scramble. Looks really nice. So definitely can't wait to try to solve that. And now on to the ready cube. And now I've seen a lot of cool things about this. Um, some people speed solving it and wanting to be a W saver. So I got the stickerless and it looks really nice. So let's just do first turns. Very nice and sandy, super smooth. So there's just a commutator, just like a sledgehammer. So I guess I can do a three cycle between these uh, pieces. Um, so this will probably be pretty easy to solve. I've heard that it's not that hard. So yeah, Moe Ready Cube, super, super nice. I love the turning on this. Um, I don't really know how I would speed solve this because it seems kind of awkward, but really really cool puzzle. It's also way bigger than I expected. And now on to the big thing in this package. Um, it's something I'm super super excited for. I got the Cubicle Roochway N. And I'll open it from the bottom so I don't damage the box any more than I already have. Ooh, you see it in there. Now here's a cube stand little pamphlet. Now 4x4 is definitely one of my favorite events and the Rego Rushue which I have right here is it, it pops it's pretty slow um, you can't there's no really good middle tension so tight tension is too slow loose tension it pops too much wow so let's just do first turns. Wow, that feels really, really nice. So yeah, the magnets are definitely stronger in the, the um, inner layers. And I've heard that H prints on this thing. Wow. It feels just like a three by three. That is incredible. So yeah, it is pretty sandy. Um, and definitely tight. I will tension it. Core is actually blue on this. I've seen people with orange cores. Um, wow. Feels really nice. So let's just scramble this up. Um, I did recently switch to the Yao method and I'm pretty bad at it. But wow. 
this thing is really, really nice. I'm going to do a solve. I'm pretty terrible at 4x4. Four four. So that was a pretty average solve for me. And this thing is super nice. The magnets on the outside, they're noticeable, but they don't make too much of a difference during solving, which I really like. And then the ones on the inside just keep the puzzle aligned so well. Oops. Yeah, this definitely beats my old which way. If I really want it to be really, just really good. So. Um, like I said, I also got these lubes, and I will be lubing this puzzle. Um, wow. So yeah, definitely super, super nice, and yeah, thanks for watching.